Helene here with Eyes on the Game here at the Fighters Only World MMA Awards, being joined by the lovely, the talented, the beautiful Miss Misha Tate. Always great to see you, and congratulations. Um, your daughter was just born, right, like a week ago or two weeks ago? Uh, she's, she's a month, actually, today. Oh, yeah, it goes by, oh, you're telling me, it's going by so quick. Uh, everyone says it goes by fast, but it's unbelievable. She's already, like, so different than the day that she was born, but we're loving it. You know, she's she's amazing, and every day there's new growth, and she does new cute things, and um, her smile just makes my whole day. And how has life been now, you know, being a mother? Well, it's a bit more, um, it's a bit more work, to be honest, but I love it. You know, it's just the most rewarding thing that I've ever done, and it just uh, requires me to actually be more consistent about my schedule, you know? Like, before, I would kind of, like, wait till the last minute. Like, I can't do that now because everything takes me way longer. She wakes up and wants to eat. It's like, I got to drop everything. So now I really have to like plan. It's probably good for me. It's probably good for me to like have to, to dial it back a little bit and, and slow down and be a little bit more organized with things. Um, so that's, that's really what's changed at this point. Obviously I'm still really new to being a mom, first time mommy, and she's just a month old. So I'm getting in the groove of things. And tonight is, uh, you know, the first night that we've had out just as parents since, since we've had her. And so you know, a bit anxious. I want to check my phone all the time and be like, is she okay? You know, and I miss her. But um, it's good for us. We're getting back in the groove of everything. Well, I'm sure you are a great mother. Um, but speaking of, you know, being here at the Fighters Only Awards, I mean, is there anything in particular you're looking forward to the most tonight? Getting back to my daughter. <laughs> no, but... Yeah. yeah, but no, beyond that, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to being here. And just for me, what it signifies is like coming back into myself again. You know, it's been a really long time since I've been able to participate in really anything mixed martial arts involved. And I haven't been able to um, train or anything like that. So um, it's, it's fun. I'm going to present an award and uh, I'm just excited to kind of be out here with my people. And being here um, at Fight Week, it is a big week, uh, with the super fight, Sipe Miocic, Daniel Cormier, how do you see that fight going? You know, um, everyone's probably going to call me crazy, but I think Daniel Cormier is going to get it done. I think that he has the ability to do this. You know, he's got the speed, he's got a, a better, you know, uh, wrestling credential, you know, but like participating like trying out for the Olympics twice you know and like his his wrestling background and the speed and the fact he was thir went 13 and 0 as a heavyweight in his career you know people forget that he did he people forget that he trains with really really big guys and he's used to dealing with that weight his style of wrestling allows him to do that well if he can get a hold of someone you know and there's no speed discrepancy it, except that I think that Daniel's actually faster. You know, that's where I think he has trouble with John Jones is because John is so quick. Yes. It's the speed, really. So I don't see that being as much of an issue in this fight. Um, obviously, I'll give the power to Stipe, but Stipe's got to touch him first. Got to touch DC, and DC's going to move and be fast. And I, I think that uh, Daniel Cormier has what it, ha what it takes to, to get it done this week. So we'll see. But I don't think you're crazy with that prediction because I just interviewed Tito Ortiz and he told me the same. He thinks that DC will win. Um, but looking at the co-main event, another exciting title fight uh, and two young and hungry fighters in Max Holloway um, and Brian Ortega. What do you think of that fight? That fight is crazy. Um, it's really, really hard to bet against Max Holloway right now. I mean, he's just on another level and um, continues to elevate his game every single fight. So I think that Brian Ortega has his hands full in this fight. Um, every fighter has a chance, but I think that Brian Ortega is really young and, you know, he's coming into his own and he's had some great success and I think he's going to have much more success in the future. I just don't think it's this fight. I think that Max Holloway is just too established and he, he's got everything down. He's just going to be a step ahead. I I think this whole fight but I think that Ortega is going to learn a lot and I think it's going to help him elevate his game and I think eventually down the road that they they might meet again and you are a pioneer um, of this sport and in women's MMA so you know kind of looking back how do you think the growth of women's MMA has been so far and you know has anything surprised you at all well, I mean, it's grown tremendously. Um, it's always exciting to see that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting an award for the females tonight, so I'm really excited. And and um, I think it's going to just continue to grow. I know that the 135-pound division seems to be in a little bit of a lull right now, but that's what happens. You know, the divisions go through their ebb and flow. We saw it come to, like, a great head and was amazing. And then 
you know, I retired, Ronda retired, some of the division kind of fizzled out a little bit, um, thinned out a little, but that just opens the door for new talent to come in. And, you know, eventually we are going to see that and the division will will flourish again. It's just a little, you know, a little patience. People just got to remember to stay patient with it a little bit. Yes. And then, and now also with the flyweight division growing um, and the featherweight division, do you think that anyone possesses a big challenge or would possess a big challenge to Chris Cyborg though? Yeah, I think that Amanda could. I think yeah. Amanda Nunes could could um, could do it because she hits so hard for her division. I mean, it's really unreal the power that that woman has, and um, she's very long. She she's deceptively rangy. She uses her range well. She's got the you know the judo and she's good on the ground. So yes, yeah, she is a smaller woman, but um, she's very fast and she's extremely powerful. You know, I don't know if there's anybody that has been able to hit Cyborg with the power that Amanda possesses. So it's interesting. I, I think at least it makes an interesting fight yeah like you said it would be a great fight hopefully that does happen soon and lastly though uh, a bit earlier you did kind of mention ronda rousey i know she is uh induct being inducted into the hall of fame i know you guys have had your rivalries but what do you think about her going in this thursday well, obviously she deserves it. You know, she did a, you know, a ton for our sport, and she really carried a lot of it on her shoulders. So, you know, she definitely deserves a place in there. There's no doubt about that. 